I wanted to make a sand dune in lecture to demonstrate and explain the angle of repose, so I got some sand, washed it clean, and made sure that when it was poured onto a flat surface, it would pile up into a dune-like form that exhibited a natural angle of repose. The problem with this setup is that my students wouldn't be able to see very much if I simply poured it out from my position in front of the class. So I decided to make a home movie, and for that I would use my cell phone's video camera mounted on a tripod. My cell phone has a pretty good video camera, but the problem is that the phone can't be directly attached to a tripod. So I found an adapter on the web for about 14 bucks. To insert the phone, you pull apart the two clips. They're spring-loaded and rubber-coated so they won't scratch the edge of the phone or its case. Once the camera is inserted into the adapter, the unit can be screwed into a tripod with a standard quarter-inch bolt. I found five of these tripods on the web for a total of about seven bucks. Spread the legs apart, and the phone can be positioned in different orientations. So there you have it, a mounted cell phone video camera for less than 20 bucks. To make the sand dune, I got some gear from the chemistry stock room. A ring stand, glass funnel, some clamps, rubber tubing. I mounted a ruler to put a scale in the video so students could estimate the size of the parts of the sand pile if this was important. I put a clamp on the rubber tubing. Then I put about 25 ml of clean, dry, medium-grained sand in the funnel. I found that this sand would pour smoothly through the narrow diameter. Then I set up the cell phone on its tripod, adjusted lighting, and shot the video. The first video shows the accumulation of freely falling sand in a pile. Before running the video, I give students a handout on which they'll record observations. As the pile builds, I tell them to make brief notes. I don't say anything about estimating quantitative measurements. However, I included the scale to make eyeball measurements possible. At the end of the video, I ask them to make a sketch of the pile and estimate the angle of slope. Here are a few examples. Details vary from extremely crude to some significant detail. And some students even included the scale. Some very interesting features can be seen here. Added sand doesn't increase the height much. Instead, the sand forms steepened sheets that chaotically slump. Here it is in slow motion at quarter speed. The analogy to me is channel avulsion in a delta, where rivers shift course to seek the steepest path to sea level. Very interesting and potentially productive of much discussion. We learned, and I suppose most of us teach, that the angle of repose for clean dry sand is about 30 to 35 degrees. I never measured this in the field, but I did measure the slope angle on this image. I was shocked, shocked I was, that it came out to be almost exactly 35 degrees. Neat! Students could be given an image from the video and after viewing it, asked to measure the slope angle to confirm this fact for themselves. There is a learning curve to produce good quality video from a late model cell phone camera. However, we know that students need more practice to observe, describe, explain, predict, and in general exercise their higher cognitive processes. That doesn't happen much in a traditional lecture with the professor at the podium. I believe video snips have the great potential to demonstrate fundamental geoscience and engage students as they develop the critical thinking skills we value so much in higher education. So let's contribute to an open video archive for our profession. I'd be happy to help you with any assistance I can. Happy shooting! Bye! Scott Brandy here at UAB, signing out.